Right, a school in Oldbury has joined forces with the local council to build a new teaching block. Previously placed in special measures by Ofsted, Perryfields High School has turned around in the last 10 years and is now a popular choice for parents. That success means they need to expand and there's been no help from central government. Callum Watkinson reports. The finishing touches are put to £4 million worth of improvements at Perryfields High School in Oldbury. There's now a new teaching block and games area where tatty mobile classrooms, meant as a temporary measure, had stood for 25 years. 12 months ago I was really concerned. We had 16 old mobile classrooms and lots of pupils wanting to come to our school because we're doing so well. And now I've got a brand new teaching block, 28 classrooms. Well, it certainly adds a consistency to the year. You don't end up having to worry about going to the wrong classroom. Last year there were um, classrooms here, there and everywhere, so you might have maths in one place and have to walk all the way over the other side of school for another lesson, but it's much easier than just being in the same place. So what's the difference between a lesson in there and a lesson in one of the, the, the mobiles? Warmer. Under the last government's Building Schools for the Future policy, Perryfields was promised £18.5 million. But the coalition scrapped the policy within months of coming to power, leaving Perryfields with big plans and no money to pay for them. One day we were having £18.5 million, the next day we were having absolutely nothing. And alongside that, we were still being asked to take additional students. So, you know, what, what we decided is we were going to do something and we were going to look at ways of sorting that out. And if central government couldn't do it for us, we would find a solution. Three million came from Sandwell Council, another one from the school's own budget. It's a scaled down version of the full rebuild they'd planned, but a quick fix for an urgent problem. It was new pupils coming, extra pupils coming in this year, so we had to react very quickly and also we've got a, a, a massive increase in pupil numbers in the primary sector so we're actually looking at this sort of development in the future to actually solve probably a lot of the problems that we might have. The scrapping of BFS saved the Department of Education 55 billion pounds but crushed the aspirations of Perryfields and hundreds of schools like it across the country but instead of rolling over they found their own solution to those twin pressures of rising student numbers and falling capital budgets. Callum Watkinson in Oldbury for Central tonight.